Hey, what's up guys? So you have an LG Smart TV and you have an issue with your YouTube app. It's just not working. Maybe it's not loading or maybe it's opening or maybe it's frozen or maybe you get a black screen or perhaps you get an error, some kind of error message or even if it is unresponsive. I'm going to give you guys nine solution to get you up and running now and this should help. At least 80% of you guys should have your uh, YouTube app working on your LG Smart TV by the end of this video. At least 80%, okay? So step number one, okay, with your TV currently on, what you want to do is just go ahead and unplug it from the wall. Okay, so let's go ahead and unplug it. TV turns off, go ahead and leave it unplugged for one minute. After one minute is up, come back and we want to put the, put it back into the wall socket there. And then your TV should turn on, give it a second. Once it's up, go ahead and try to open up the YouTube app and hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're going to go to step number two. Okay, so if the first step still didn't work, you're still having issues with the YouTube app. The second step we're going to do is this, okay? Again, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unplug it, unplug the TV, just like that. And then the next thing what you're going to do is go to your, wherever your router is. Um, I have a router and a modem separate. You Most of you guys will have like a wireless modem and it's your router and your modem okay what you want to do is just unplug it okay you just want to go ahead and unplug it i have a, a modem and a router go ahead and unplug it and so you have three things unplugged okay you're going to have your uh, your modem and your router unless you just have uh the, the modem and wireless router in the one so these will be unplugged the tv is unplugged i'm going to wait five minutes after five minutes is up i'm going to start off by plugging in my modem my router and then my tv Okay, so after five minutes, now I have my modem and my router plugged back in, waiting for the lights to pop back on. And now I'm going to come back and plug my TV in. Just plug that in. TV should turn on automatically. Now once it turns on and you're booted back up on your TV, what you want to do is wait about five minutes so that you can find your internet connection and everything. Once it, um, after about five minutes, then go ahead and open up your YouTube app and hopefully you're up and running. So after about five minutes, go ahead and try to open up uh, YouTube and hopefully you're back up and running. Okay, if you're not, we're going to go to the next possible solution here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see that there is an update for your LG TV. So first thing is let's grab the remote here and tap on the gear icon, the settings icon. Tap on that. And then you just want to go see all the icons on the right hand side. You want to go all the way down to where it says all settings on the very bottom there. Click on OK on the remote. Now what you want to do is you want to go all the way down to General on the left hand side. So go down to General, tap on OK. And then what you want to do is you want to move over to the right with your arrow on your uh, remote control. And now we want to go all the way down. Keep on going down until we see About This TV. So go to, to About This TV, click on the OK. And now you can see, if I scroll down one more, it says check for update. So go ahead and tap on OK and see if there's an update. So mine's checking right now. If you have an update, go ahead and proceed with the update. If you don't have an update, then we're going to go with the uh, next possible solution. And don't forget, if you do have an update, after you update, after it's done updating, go ahead and open up the YouTube app and see if you are up and running, okay? Anyways, if not, we're gonna to go to the next one. And for me, I mean, there's no updates found, so now I'm gonna to go to the next possible solution. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, if it's still not working, is we're gonna go ahead and reset your network settings, okay? So let's go back into settings on your remote. You can go ahead and click on the, um, that gear icon right there. And then we're gonna go ahead all the way down. We're gonna go down this time, not all the way down, but to where it says network, the purple um, uh, icon right there. Click on OK. Now go ahead and tap over to the right, the arrow, and then we're going to go down to where it says Wi-Fi connection. Tap on that. Now you can see I'm connected right now to my home Wi-Fi network, the ITSH guest. What I'm going to do is, oops, me. you have to go over and highlight it. So once I click on uh, OK, it's going to disconnect me from it. And now I have to reconnect and enter my password again, okay? So right now I'm not connected to no uh, internet. As you can see, there's no check mark there. So let me go back to my home network here, click on OK. Now I'm gonna to have to enter my uh, password here. So let me go ahead and put my password in. 
All right, so I just entered my password. Now I'm just going to go up, go down to where it says connect. Right here, highlight it, click on the OK. And then wait till I get the uh, check mark by it. Now go back into your YouTube app, open it up, and hopefully you're up and running. If you're not, we're going to go to the next step. All right, so for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall YouTube, the app, and then reinstall it, okay? So click on your home button on your remote where you see all your apps here. And then we want to go all the way over to you see YouTube here. Now go ahead and click on the uh, OK button on your remote. Uh, sorry, actually what you have to do is go to YouTube app and then you want to press and hold OK. Okay, press and hold OK. And then it's going to pop up like that. Okay, so now after the YouTube app is up, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the down button once, okay? And when you push it, the down button once, that little X is going to be on top. Next thing you want to do now is use your um, volume keys and tap up once, and that little ghost is going to pop up above the X, okay? Now go ahead and select OK, and this is going to delete your YouTube app. Uh, are you sure you want to delete YouTube app? We're going to move over to yes, OK it. Okay, now it's long gone. Now we got to do is go ahead and go back in, and what we're going to do is reinstall YouTube. So go ahead and click on your um, home button, and then this time you want to go all the way over to LG Content. It's this fuchsia color right here. Click on OK, and now what we're going to have to do is do a search for the YouTube app so we can reinstall it. All right, so from here, I mean, if we go. You want to move up, and we want to go towards apps, okay? See apps over there? Move over, move over, highlight it. Apps, click on OK. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to search, the magnifying glass, so go up, highlight apps, and then move over to where it says search, and then tap on Enter. And now we're going to go ahead and look for YouTube. So type in U... Okay, and I see YouTube right there. Let me just move down one. It's not YouTube TV or YouTube Kids. It's just regular YouTube. So let me go back up here. Let me highlight YouTube. You can see right there. Let me focus in. Go ahead and click on OK on your remote. Okay, so from here what we want to do is we just want to scroll all the way down. Just go down. All the way it says YouTube here. Again, not YouTube TV or YouTube Kids. We're doing regular YouTube here, okay? So make sure that just the YouTube is highlighted. Go ahead and click on the OK button here. Give it a second here. And now we can go ahead and install. It's already highlighted. Click on the uh, OK button on your remote. Give that a second to install. Okay, so the app has been installed. Let me go ahead and click on OK. Now what I want you to do is, you can go ahead and launch it from here, or you can just go back to the, uh, click on your home button, and now you, we should have YouTube back on here, right here, go ahead and open that up, and hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and change your IPv6, okay? So first thing is go ahead and go back to your settings, click on the gear icon, and then what we want to do is go back down to network, so go all the way down to the purple, um, icon right there it says network click on the OK button on the remote give that a second here so we're going back into the network settings okay now go ahead and use the uh, right arrow on the remote and we want to go down to Wi-Fi connection click on OK now I want you to go all the way down to advanced Wi-Fi settings click on OK on the remote and now, right now, you can see my IPv6 is off. What I, if yours is off, what I want you to do is go ahead and turn it on now. And now go back to your YouTube app, open it up, see if it's up and running. If it's not, then I want you to come back to this network settings right here. And from on, I want you to go back and turn it off now. Now it's off. Now go back and open up YouTube app, and hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. All right, so for the next step here, we're going to go ahead and change your DNS server to 4.8 or 8844, okay? So we need to go back into the same network settings here. So again, if you want to, just click on the uh, settings icon, and then you want to go down to network, which is that purple icon right there with the globe. So give it a second, and we're going to go back into the 
uh, network settings. Okay, so now go ahead and move over to the right. And then go down to where it says Wi-Fi connection. So click on OK. And the same thing here, what we want to do is go down to where it says Advanced Wi-Fi Settings. Click on OK on the remote. And now you can see the DNS server down here, okay, in the very bottom. But what we have to do is let's go down, highlight edit, okay? Highlight edit, and then click on OK. And now what we want to do is, okay, so yours is probably on set on automatically. So for us, in order for us to change the DNS, we have to uncheck the set automatically. So with set automatically highlighted, just go ahead and tap the OK button on the remote, and that'll uncheck set automatically. Now we can change the DNS server. So just go down, highlight DNS server, click on, oops, let me focus in on here. See how it's highlighted with that fuchsia color? Now go ahead and click on OK. And now what you want to do is we want to change this, okay? We want to try two different DNS addresses here. So just go ahead and uh, go down to clear all. And now what we want to try first is uh, four eights, okay? So it's going to be eight. Okay, so you can see here I'm typing in. What I have here is eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... Go ahead to connect, okay? So I can just, let me move up and highlight where it says connect right here. Let me go ahead and click on the OK button. Okay, and there you go. Now my DNS is set to uh, four eights. And for me to confirm, I can just simply just click on the back button on my remote. And then you can see how it's grayed out down here. My DNS server is 8888.8.8.8. Okay, there's no dot at the very end. Anyways, from here, go ahead and open up YouTube app and hopefully you're up and running. If you're not, what I want you to do is come back to the DNS server and change it from 4.8 to 8.8.4.4. Okay, so 8.8.4.4, change that, and then go ahead and try YouTube, and then you should be up and running, okay? Now, if you're still not, then what I want you to do is just go back, go back to the same area here, and I want you to just go back to where it says set automatically, okay? So if I... Uh, click on edit and now i'm just going to go all the way up set it back automatically like that and you can see my ds my dns server here changes now the last step i have for you for a possible fix is basically just doing a factory reset okay resetting everything back to original default settings as if you just bought this lg tv brand new and took it out of the box okay and how you do that is we're going to go back into settings here just go into settings and you want to go all the way down to where it says all settings on the bottom right hand side, the fuchsia color, all settings. Click on OK. And then from here we want to go down, we want to go down to general, then move over to the right on the remote, and we want to go all the way down. Just keep going down until we see, aha, reset to initial settings. Go ahead and click on Okay there. Okay, so resetting will delete all of your content. So remember, when you do a factory reset, you're deleting everything on there. So once you do that and it's, it's done doing a factory reset, you have to start everything back over. You have to pick, choose your, you have to go through the setup, choose your language, choose your Wi-Fi, put your Wi-Fi password in, and all that good stuff. And then hopefully that'll help some of you guys as well if you just do a clean slate and start back over. Any questions or issues, comment below. If this worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. All right, good luck.